Fast foodies, I have one question for you. Do you know the Muffin Man? Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know who the Muffin Man is, but you know what I do know? Well, I know that it is a Saturday morning, and as far as I'm concerned, in my world and in your world, that should mean one thing and one thing only. Just say it with me. It's cereal time! And if you guys didn't know that Saturday mornings mean cereal time, well, that probably means you're not subscribed to the Fast Foodies. So really quickly, all you gotta do to change that, see that little red button down there that says subscribe? Go ahead, hit that. Great, now that everyone that is watching this is a part of the Fast Foodie Nation, welcome. Let's get into today's cereal time review. I'm gonna be trying the brand new Blueberry Muffin Mini Wheats. At least I think it's brand new. It doesn't say new on here, but to be honest, I have never seen these in stores. And this is actually the second new flavor of Mini Wheats I've reviewed. The first one was last week where I tried the, oh, it was a honey one. That one was pretty good. Mom, you like those, right? The Golden Honey Mini Wheats? Uh, yeah. yeah, even she was a fan. If you guys, uh, if you guys, if you guys missed out on that review, don't worry. I'll make sure to play it right after I review these frosted blueberry muffin mini wheats. Speaking of which, let's go ahead, open this up and see, uh, see what it looks like, see what it sounds like. Ooh, it smells pretty good. It looks pretty good, but does it taste good? Well, to find out fast foodies, I'm gonna need my tasting bowl and my tasting spoon. Blue for the uh, blue cereal. On the spoon look. bad but I'm hoping that when I add the milk more of that blueberry flavor comes out that's kind of what happened in the uh, in the golden honey cereal when I added milk I got a little bit more of that honey flavor so uh, yeah I guess I should stop talking and hit it with some milk now now even though this is high in fiber and um, it has a hundred percent whole wheat we need more vitamins and minerals. So that's why I'm gonna shake up this carton of milk so that we can get all those very important and nutrient vitamins and minerals from the bottom to the top. On the spoon milk look. There it is. Yeah. Blueberry flavor is definitely coming through more. For some reason, that seems to be a common theme with these mini wheat cereal. It's like the flavor is trapped in the little pockets of the cereal. And then as soon as you add the milk, the flavor just is, uh, it's released. It comes out, it's allowed to, uh, to shine. Honestly, that's, that's what's happening here. Um, this is definitely not a dry cereal. If you're gonna pick this up, make sure you got some milk with you as well. You're gonna need it. It's definitely a lot better with the milk. That being said, I still wish, uh, it's definitely not blueberry muffin flavored. Um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't think the Muffin Man would be too proud of this. But blueberry-wise, yeah, not a, not a bad blueberry flavor. For ratings, I'm gonna go ahead and give the new Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheat a 7.5 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and we'll catch ya in the next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you wanna become a fast foodie as well. 
So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review. It's gonna be a sweet one. And not only is it gonna be sweet, it's gonna be a fun one. Fast Foodies, it is a Saturday morning, if you can't tell by my bed head. <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, in my world, Saturday mornings mean one thing and one thing only. Say it with me. It's cereal time! For today's cereal review, oh man, I am getting so excited. I am getting my words all jumbled up. And for today's cereal time review, I'm gonna be taking a look at the brand new, never before seen. Just kidding. Before I show you, if this is your first time tuning into the Fast Foodies, then guess what? To make sure you don't miss out on more fun cereal time reviews that have cliffhangers just like this one, all you gotta do, hit that subscribe button. Great, now that everyone that is watching this is a part of the Fast Foodie Nation, I can show you today's Golden Honey Frosted Mini Wheats Cereal. Now this is actually one of two new flavors of Frosted Mini Wheats I just picked up at the grocery store. This one was a little bit more exciting, I think, than the other one. And since I'm very impatient, I decided to review this one first. But as I mentioned, I have the other one in my pantry waiting to be reviewed. So make sure to stay tuned for that one. Because even though it's not quite as exciting as this golden honey cereal, it's still a new cereal. And as far as I'm concerned, every new cereal deserves a review. But this one, this one says it's made with some perfectly sweet wholesome wheat. We got some bees on there. The cover art is pretty, uh, yeah, not bad. Let's look at the back. On the back, uh, some more golden frosted mini wheats. I'm hoping that the honey really does come through and it's not just like a, like an aftertaste, you know? I love my honey. I like frosted mini wheats, but I find that sometimes that, that wheat flavor is just yeah, it can kind of be hard to mask. But of course, there's only one way to find out. We gotta try it. Tasting bowl, tasting spoon. I'll hit it with the milk after we try it dry. Um, spoon look. Okay, okay. I'm getting about 50-50, like a 50-50 split between that wheat flavor and the honey flavor. Let's see if that ratio changes when I hit it with some milk. Now, even though this cereal is high in fiber and has 100% whole wheat, we still need some more vitamins and minerals. So that's why I'm gonna shake up this carton so we can get up all those vitamins and minerals from the bottom to the top. Okay, okay. I think that with the milk, the ratio does shift a little bit in favor of the honey. I'm very happy about that. That being said, I still think they could have upped the honey just a tad bit more. Yeah, it says contains 2% or less of honey. Honestly, I wish that they went with around 10%. <laughs> that would be a bit more than a tad bit more. But the fact that they're only using 2% honey, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little skeptical. Yeah, I definitely would have enjoyed a bit more honey, but it's not as, it's not as weedy as I was expecting. So at least there's that. For ratings, fast duties, I don't know. I'll go with, uh, I'll go with a seven and a half out of 10. I was almost gonna give it a seven, but because they did exceed my expectations just a tad bit more, I decided to give them an extra half a point. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's cereal time review. Let me know in the comments down below, have you guys tried this new Frosted Mini Wheats Golden Honey cereal? If you have, what are your thoughts? If you haven't, will you be trying it out? 
And also, drop a comment down below. What cereal should I review next? I've been looking at the grocery stores, and besides this Frosted Mini Wheats and the other uh, flavor I got, I haven't been seeing too many new cereals. So if you guys see something you want me to review, definitely drop a comment. If you want me to do another cereal collab that I did, if you guys missed out on that one, check out the, uh, I think last week's or two weeks ago, where I combined two cereals into one. That was a lot of fun. Actually, I'll just play it at the end of this review. But yeah, if you guys want me to do another one of those, then also let me know. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll catch you in the next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review. Reese's Puffs. Chats. Today, it's a good day. You know how I know that it's a good day? Because it's Saturday, which means not only is it the weekend, it's cereal time. Welcome back, Fast Foodie Nation, to yet another classic Saturday morning cereal time review. Every Saturday morning, I post a review of cereal. Sometimes it's just new to me, sometimes it's new to you, and sometimes it's new to you and to me, as is today's cereal. Now before I tell you all about today's very special, never before seen cereal, there's something you gotta do, especially if this is your first time tuning into the Fast Foodies. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Now the way, now as I, as I mentioned, today's cereal, Today's cereal time review, it is extra, extra special because I'm going to be reviewing a cereal that isn't even in stores. Oh, well, kind wow. of, not really. Well, let me explain. About a month ago, maybe two months ago, I suddenly had this, this goal to try every flavor of Chex there is. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I just really wanted to try try out every single flavor of Chex. And on my most recent visit to the grocery store, they only had two flavors, chocolate and peanut butter. So I picked them up and brought them home. And a few days ago, I was eating a bowl of the the, uh, the chocolate one right here, just a normal bowl of chocolate Chex. And as I was eating it, my eyes wandered over to the pantry and laid upon the peanut butter. Chex mix. And then a thought occurred to me. Peanut butter and chocolate. That's a that's a match. That's like a match made in heaven. Fast foodies, you see where I'm going with this? Get ready today for the first time ever. I'm going to be reviewing peanut butter and chocolate Chex. Today we are combining Reese's Puffs with Chex. And boy, I am excited. This is gonna be, uh, I think we're gonna have a winner winner. Well, I was gonna say chicken dinner, but I don't wanna be mixing chicken dinner and cereal today. <laughs> no, but I think today we have a, uh, a good one on our hands. But as always, we gotta taste it. We gotta try it out. That's why I have this YouTube channel, to let you guys know if, uh, Homemade cereal is worth your time, money, and most importantly, your calories. All right, Fast Foodies, are you ready to try for the first time ever, ever? I don't think anyone has ever done this. If you know someone that's done this, let me know in the comments down below because they're truly onto something. And checks, if you're watching this, this may be a, a new flavor for you guys to come out with. All right, Fast Foodies, let's go ahead. Alright, I had to double check. They have all the flavors on here, and there's not a there's not a peanut butter chocolate, so we're so we're safe. So we have blueberry wheat, corn rice, peanut butter, chocolate, honey nut, maple, and cinnamon. But there is no peanut butter chocolate. So yeah. First time ever. First look. Let's do this. First, of course, we need our tasting bowl, tasting spoon. Now, because here on the Fast Foodies, we are extremely scientific and I want to do everything 100% right. 
I'm even going to grab a food scale so we can make sure that we have exactly 50-50 peanut butter to chocolate. So we'll do 35 grams of the peanut butter. Zero it out. Thirty-five grams of chocolate. As always, we try it dry first, and then we uh, hit it with some milk. <laughs> I think we're on something, fast foodies. <laughs> Now for the real test, we add the milk. Now, even though we love our cereal, we also love our vitamins and minerals. So that's why we gotta shake it up to get all those vitamins and minerals from the bottom to the top. Fast foodies, I don't want to say that I'm a genius and I may have just created one of the best cereals ever. Definitely the best flavor of Chex out there, even though I haven't tried all the flavors yet. But I'm pretty sure, no, I know that I'm a genius and I have created one of the best cereals out there. I'm not going to give this a rating because I don't think it's fair for me to rate something that I made myself. But all I'm going to say... Next time you're at the grocery store and they have peanut butter and chocolate checks, buy both of them, mix them, make sure you do the ratio 50-50 and trust me, fast foodies, you will not be disappointed. Please go ahead, do that, come back, let me know how incredible it was. Mm. And also... Let me know what flavor combination you want me to try next. They have so many. Ooh, we could have added some honey nut. Honey and peanut butter. Oh, I think when my dad's back, he's on a work trip right now. But when he comes back, he loves peanut butter and honey. We may have to try that one out. All right, fast foodies. Hope you guys enjoyed this very special cereal time special review. <laughs> and we'll catch you back here in the next one. Please. Go try this out. Mm. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review. Reese's Puffs checks today it's a good day you know how i know that it's a good day because it's saturday which means not only is it the weekend it's cereal time now the way now as i as i mentioned today's cereal today's cereal time review it is extra extra special because i'm going to be reviewing a cereal that isn't even in stores get ready today for the first time ever i'm going to be reviewing peanut butter and chocolate checks checks if you're watching this this may be a, a new flavor for you guys to come out with